What do you own that you keep secret from the rest of the world? Something embarrassing? Something shocking? Something illegal? Most of us have at least one thing we'd like to keep private, even if it's just our browser history. But when people go to extreme lengths to put their property out of sight, it makes you wonder exactly what they're trying to hide. Governments and major world organizations around the world store many things in heavily guarded vaults around the globe. So let's take a look at where they are and what they might be hiding in our list of seven mysterious vaults and archives. In at seven, the Mormon vaults. The Granite Mountain Records Vault near Salt Lake City, Utah, is a facility owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they claim it contains nothing but administrative paperwork and genealogical records. However, since both the public and most Mormon church members are not permitted access, there has been much speculation about what really lies within this heavily protected mountain structure. The vaults were designed to withstand a nuclear blast, and that's not something you need if all you're hiding is a super elaborate filing system. Be like Meatloaf wearing a chastity belt. Nobody wants what you've got hiding in there that badly, unless there's something the Mormons aren't telling us. The Church of Latter-day Saints is known to be heavily involved in the doomsday prepping movement, encouraging the stocking of supplies to prepare yourself for disaster. But there have been rumors that amongst supplies you might expect, such as food and sanitary items, the Granite Mountain Vaults may also contain stockpiles of weaponry and other military hardware. So basically, if Independence Day 2 really happens, it's going to be these guys who save the day. Thanks, Mormons! Number 6. The New York Federal Reserve The Federal Reserve is the central banking system of the United States with 12 physical locations dotted around the country. But it is the New York branch which is considered the most mysterious because of what it may or may not contain. The New York Federal Reserve is estimated to hold nearly a quarter of all the gold in the entire world, with many foreign governments taking advantage of its heavy security to store their own bullion reserves. But rumors similar to those regarding Fort Knox have led to the accusation that the gold supposedly stored here has actually been gone a long, long time. The Federal Reserve may not be privately owned like many think, but it is subject to some significant non-governmental influence, and its audits are carried out by private account services with no government supervision. So, has the United States been operating a smoke-and-mirrors economy for years without telling the world? Feel free to try and find out if you like, but to gain access to the vault, you'll need to get past a series of bomb-proof blast doors nearly 80 feet below street level. Once you've dealt with a team of expert marksmen, of course. Good luck with that. Number 5. The Swiss Vaults The reason we've grouped together many different independent vaults across Switzerland is because this country's bank storage facilities are considered some of the safest and most secretive on the planet. The world's wealthiest citizens pay huge sums of money to keep their money and artifacts here, because not only is it safe, but the country's lax banking laws make it easy to hide both your wealth and your possessions. Many of the world's millionaires and billionaires have used secret Swiss bank accounts to facilitate tax evasion. But within the vaults themselves, there could be more sinister secrets lurking. Stolen artworks and gold looted by the Nazis are known to reside in safety deposit boxes stored underground across the country. And as recently as 2015, authorities uncovered a 170 million Da Vinci painting hidden in a vault in Lugano. Forget their reputation for fine chocolate and fancy pen knives. If you own something you shouldn't really own, the Swiss will help keep you and your ill-gotten gains well off the radar. In at 4. The Iranian Gold Vault This is a picture of the Iranian Central Bank. This is a picture of the Iranian Imperial Treasury. And this is a picture of a random Iranian mountain. Which one of these contains Iran's gold reserves? Nobody knows. Well, nobody outside of Iran, anyway. In order to avoid sanctions from Western nations during the tension of the past few years, the Central Bank of the Islamic Republic of Iran 
has taken steps to move their gold reserves away from the influence of the U.S. and Europe and have subsequently hidden them away like squirrels preparing for winter. Their gold is stored in an undisclosed location, and since nobody is able to audit this vault, the amount of gold held by the Iranians is tough to estimate. It could be as much as $40 billion worth, or as little as $1 billion, according to reports from the central bank itself. I'm starting to think the only person telling the truth about how much gold they own is Flava Flav, whose deposits can be audited whenever he opens his mouth. 3. The Iron Mountain In Pennsylvania's Butler County lies one of the most fascinating collections of historical artifacts and secret information the world has ever, and perhaps will, ever know. The Iron Mountain 200 feet below the ground inside an old limestone mine, you'll find 1.7 million square feet of vaults, with one vault alone the size of a shopping center. And amongst the items stored are famous historical patents, treasured artworks, an archive of digital images stored by Bill Gates, the burnt remains of Flight 93, cinematic collections of prints and props from Warner Brothers movies, and the original copy of the Einstein photo with his tongue out. That's my favorite. The U.S. government uses up a large proportion of the vault space, but the majority of items stored here come from private organizations and more than 90% of them keep their identities hidden. Visitors from major companies are allowed in and out of the vault quite often, but scores of armed guards and some very intimate examinations prevent people from smuggling items in or out without authorization. So if you think you'd get out of there with Harry Potter's actual wand up your butt, think again. Number 2. Haven Company In the year 2000, the Haven Company data storage facility was opened on a disused oil rig in the North Sea. The rig operated within the territory of Sealand, which is a self-declared independent region of Britain. Remember when Peter Griffin declared his house as an independent nation within the USA? That's basically Sealand in a nutshell. And because the people there aren't doing any harm, Britain just lets them have their fun. But the founding of the Haven Company almost caused Britain to intervene. As aside from illegal pornography, spamming, and malicious hacking activities, the users of Haven Company could store literally anything they wanted on their servers. Sealand claims to be out of the reach of international laws, so it is speculated that many illegal organizations use the Haven Company servers to facilitate their illicit operations under cover of darkness. And whilst Haven Company was shut down in 2008, it resurfaced again in 2013, with its digital archives well out of reach of even the most curious world governments. And at number one, the Vatican Repository. The Vatican's archive is over 400 years old and contains historical records, papal correspondence, and many other important documents which have been accumulated by the Catholic Church for over a millennium. In 1881, after centuries of secrecy, it was decided that scholars should be allowed to study the archives, which are so voluminous they have to be kept on more than 85 kilometers of shelving. But speculation persists that there is some extra material hidden away which the Vatican does not want anyone to see. Supposed documents kept here include contradictory gospels from the earliest versions of the Bible, letters and accounts from world leaders which would change how we view the history of the world, and even a collection of ancient artistic penises. During a particularly prudish period in the Catholic Church's history, it was considered inappropriate for male genitalia to be on display on the Vatican's artworks. But while some pieces had fig leaves attached or painted over the offending areas, many old Greek and Roman statues simply had their penises chiseled off. Now, the Catholic Church weren't Philistines. They knew the artistic and historical importance of these world-famous wieners, so, it is believed that hidden somewhere in the Vatican's secret archives, this collection of ancient historical penises remains stored in a vault to this day. But if you want to see them, you'll need to ask Pope Francis, because everything in the archives is considered his personal property. So why not tweet him right now? Ask to see his secret penis collection. Or, instead of annoying the holiest man in the Catholic Church, you could just watch our recent video on seven mysteries of sex. There's plenty of penis action in there which you can see without bothering the Pope one bit. <laughs>